Meet Levan, an economics and business graduate who's just opened his own restaurant. But his ambition to make it more than just a place to come and eat is proving hard to achieve. What would be good is to have Wi-Fi here to attract clients. I really want to have a business that is a cafe, a space with internet so people could come and socialize and hang out here, so I could give them food and drink. It would be more of a service, and it would definitely help if it was cheaper. Beyond a few state-run internet cafes and Wi-Fi at expensive hotels, getting online can be hard. There's still a great deal of suspicion about the internet, says this political analyst. A siege mentality, he calls it, but knows things need to change. The internal debate about the internet reached a point, probably about a year ago, in which, although publicly it was not said, where the people at the top were convinced that we had to do it. And then the problem now, of course, is that we are so far behind that a lot of investment has to be made. But the investment is going to be paid back by the economy when you, once you have it in place. And, and then, you know, people, people use Internet for entertainment, for many things. I mean, it's not that behind every Internet user there is a, an oppositionist trying to do something against the government. That's not what happens. Things are changing. This is one of more than 30 Wi-Fi hotspots that's been installed in the city recently. And all these people here are logging on. It's hugely popular, but only for those who can afford it because it costs $2 an hour and the average Cuban salary is $20 a month. Now they've got it, though, Cubans want to keep up with the rest of the world. It's important because it means we can communicate with everyone, make connections with Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. But the problem is that it costs a lot. For nearly two dollars, it lasts an hour and that's it. And the connection's really bad. We've lived so long without it, now we've got it, we want it to be better and better. It's less an internet revolution here in Cuba, more of a slow catch-up. But there's a recognition that this change is inevitable and for the people here, indispensable. Katie Watson, BBC News, Havana.